Welcome back to class. In this lesson, we'll be seeing how to solve linear equations using matrices. In our last lesson, we explained how to solve the same equation with substitution method. But in this lesson, we'll use matrices to solve this equation. That said, let's get into class. Now, as equation says, we have x plus 2y plus z equals 4. That's our first equation. Let's start this our equation 1. Let's tag this our equation 2. Let's tag this our equation 3. But in this lesson, we're actually going to use matrices to solve this equation. In case you missed our foundational lessons on matrices, where we explained the inverse of a matrix, cofactor of matrix, transpose of matrices, how to multiply matrices, please do not hesitate to check the description below. It links to all of these lessons. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a matrix out of this equation. Now, if you look at this equation from equation 1, equation 1 says I have x that will be interpreted as 1x, obviously, plus 2y plus 1z is equals to 4. So the other one has 3x, that's the coefficient is 3, minus 4y minus 2z is equals to here I have 5x plus 3y plus 5z is equals to minus 1. Now, we're going to make an array out of all of these. We're going to turn them into arrays and give us matrices. Obviously, the first set of arrays that we, or the first set of array we should get should be a 3 by 3 matrix. It should look like this. For the first rule, I'll pick my 1, I'll pick 2, and I'll pick 1. Is one, two, one. The second row, I'll pick my three, I'll pick minus four and minus two. And on the third row, I'll pick five, three, and I'll pick five. That's my first major matrix. The next matrix I'll come up with will be for the x and the y. We'll multiply this so that I have x, I have y, and I have z. This will be equals to the solution should form another set of matrices, which is 4, 2, minus 1. Now, for these matrices, you can see that obviously this, let's tag this matrix A. Let me call this matrix B. Let's tag this matrix C. Why matrix B is a set of our unknown? We know matrix A, and we know matrix C. From this set, if A is obviously multiplying B to give us C, I need to know the value for B. I can easily say B now will be equals to C divided by B. Now this is the same thing as saying A now, B will be equals to A inverse, because this is A raised to the power minus 1. 1 over A is A raised to the power minus 1 times C. Now, but this, these are matrices. So the A inverse we are actually talking about here is the A inverse for this matrix A. So the first thing I should be asking myself to solve for B, to get the values of B, is to find A inverse. If you miss our lesson on how to find the inverse of a matrix, there's a link in the description below. A inverse, the inverse of any matrix A, is the same thing as the adjunct of that matrix divided by its determinant. At the same time, the adjunct of a matrix is the same thing as the transpose of its cofactor. So that I can say that the inverse of a matrix is the transpose of its cofactor divided by its determinant. Divided by its determinant. Let's look at this matrix A. So the first thing we'll be looking at is to find the cofactors of matrix A. Now to find the cofactors of matrix A, I have to pick each element one after the other and solve for the cofactor of that element. So I'll be tagging the first element here is 1. Let me call it C1. So that C1, to find the cofactor of C1, let's place the signs. We'll place a sign here. This is plus. And the cofactor of 3, uh, let me tag 3 too. So that this will be minus, plus, minus. And for 5, this will be plus, minus, and so that the cofactor for C1, I'll pick C1 is 1, 
using row 1 and column 1. So the element out of this column will be 4, minus 2, 3, and 5. And it has a positive sign. So I'll pick plus, minus 4, minus 2, 3, and 5. So that this will be the same thing as plus into 4 times 5. That's 20 minus minus 6. This is minus 4, sorry, times 5. That's minus 20. So that the total value here will be equals to minus 20 plus 6, which is equal to minus 14. Let's pick for 2. For 2, the sign there is negative. So the elements associated with 2 that are out of the row and column where 2 belongs, that's 3. You can see 3. I'll pick minus 2. I'll pick 5. I'll pick 5. 2 is in row 1 and column 2. So we have 3. And here is minus 2. 5. And here is 5. So that this will become minus to 5 times 3 that's 15 minus minus 10 obviously that's the same thing as minus 25 now let's pick we need to go to another cell i've dealt with one and two now let's take for C1. The sign for C1 is positive. So we'll be picking 3, minus 4, 5, and 3. So that's the factor for C1 will be the same thing as 3 times 3, that's 9, minus, minus 20. That's equal to 29. The next item will be 3. That's C3. So that the cofactors here is negative. So I'll be picking 2, 1, 3, and 5. So that, that will be equals to minus into 10 minus 3 is equals to minus 7. The next item will be C minus 4. And the sign on minus 4 should be plus. So we'll be picking 1, 1, 5, and 5. So that's equals to plus into 5 minus 5, which is equals to 0. The next item will be minus 2. C minus 2. The sign on C minus 2 is negative, so we'll be picking 1, 2, 5, and 3. So that will be equals to minus into 3 minus 10. That's equals to plus 7. Let's attend to the last row. That's C5. So I'll be picking C5 here is positive. So I'll be picking 2, 1, minus 4, and minus 2. So that will be equals to plus to minus 4 plus 4. That's also equals to 0. Then the next item is the C3. The sign there is negative. So we'll be picking 1, 3, 1, minus 2. Which is equals to minus into minus 2, minus 3 the same thing as plus 5. 
and the last item, the last but not the least, is a 5, which is also positive. So that will be king. 1, 2, 3, and minus 4. So that this is equals to plus into minus 4 minus 6 is equals to minus 10. Obviously, we have the cofactors set and make a matrix of the cofactors. So that making a matrix of the cofactors, the first cofactor we had was minus 4 and minus 25. Minus 4 and minus 25 in the first row. That's minus 14, sorry. Minus 25. I have 29. Then I have minus 7. 0. And plus 7. Then the last row we have 0, 5. And minus 10. There is a cofactor of matrix. Now, from this cofactor, the first thing I want us to first deduce is to deduce the determinant of matrix A. I simply divide, deduce the determinant of matrix A by multiplying the rows in the first column, the first row, that's 1 by minus 14 plus 2 into minus 25 plus 1 into 29. equals to minus 14 minus 50 and plus 29. If you sum this up together, you come up with minus 35. Minus 35. So the determinant is minus 35. Now, but that's not the end. We already have a transpose. We already have, sorry, a cofactor of this matrix. And the next thing will be to transpose this cofactor. So when I'm transposing it, let's tag that as CT equals to minus 14, minus 25, minus 29. That's minus 14, minus 25, and 29. Let me confirm if it's negative or positive. It's positive. I have minus 7. That when we are transposing, this is minus 7, 0, and 7. When we are transposing, the rows become column and the columns become rows. On the final lap, we have 0, and we have 5, and minus 10. So I've transposed the matrix, the rows have become column and the columns have become rows. Now, the adjunct of a matrix, like we said, is divided by the determinant. So this will be divided by the determinant, which is Thirty-five. I think it's minus thirty-five. Minus thirty-five. Since the determinant is minus thirty-five, I will divide it the factor. That means we we'll have the adjunct of this matrix. Now, the adjunct will we'll have the inverse of the matrix. This is the inverse of the matrix. This is the inverse. Now, but I C. If you remember what we did here, I C and B. This is what we're looking for is equal to my C divided by A, which is, and here, now that, that is A inverse times C. So I'm going to pick my A inverse now and multiply by C. So let's get back to this so that my A inverse will be minus 14, minus 7, 0, minus 25, 0, and 5. 29, 7, minus 10. Yes, times 1 over 35 is negative. I multiply it by my C. That's 4, 2, and minus 1. In case you miss our lesson where we treated multiplication of matrices, we also place a link to that in the description below. And to multiply this, I have minus 1 over 35. This will be minus 14 times 4 
plus 2 times minus 7 minus 1 times 0. Then I will have 4 again times minus 25 plus 2 times 0. And lastly, I'll have minus 1 into 5. And I'll have 4 now times 29 plus 2 times 7. And lastly, minus 1 times minus 10. Let me close the bracket. So that this will now be the same thing. That here is my B. Obviously, it will now be the same thing as minus 1 over 35 into minus 4 times 14. That's minus 56. Two times seven, that's minus 14. One times zero, that's zero. And below it, I have minus 100. Four times 25, that's 100. Two times zero, that's zero. Minus five. And below it, 29 times, that's 116 plus 14 plus 10. So that might be now, will be the same thing as over 35 negative that's minus into minus 56 minus 14 that's minus 70 minus 105 116 plus that's 140 now we can now divide through by 35 obviously minus times minus 70 will be same thing as 2 because that's 70 divided by 35, that's 2. 105 divided by 35, that's 3. The negative signs will cancel. And finally, we have minus, minus 4. So that our B, our B is the same thing as X, Y, and Z. So that this is the same thing, equals to 2, 3, and minus 4. So that our X now, obviously, is equal to 2. Our y is equal to 3 and our z is equal to minus 4. Now, thank you for staying with us to the end of this lesson. It's been a long journey and I want to appreciate you. To ensure you get our lesson next time we create our lessons, please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button. That's what you'll be telling YouTube you love what we're doing and you'll be sure to get our lessons when we create them. Thank you and see you in our next class.